Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market here. Um, today I have a new video for you guys. Player of the Month talk, Player of the Month, looking at requirements, talking to you guys about what Player of the Month is if you don't know what it is. Um, it's going to be a good video, very informative. This is going to be for FIFA 18 Player of the Month. There's not going to be a Player of the Month for FIFA 17. So if you think that the August Player of the Month can be for FIFA 17, it can't. Um, it's basically going to be for FIFA 18. The first Player of the Month last year was Raheem Sterling, who actually won Player of the Month in August. Going to go over po potential requirements today. I got this with the help of um, a trader, a good friend named Nathan. He made some spreadsheets. Um, he let me use them for the video. I went over them in stream earlier today, but I'm going to give him credit. Guys, his Twitter link is down in the description. Make sure you check him out. He posts good stuff on Twitter. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to get into the video now. Guys, I do want to say thank you so much. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mad because YouTube is something I just started doing within this month. And to grow that quickly on YouTube is crazy. Um, Twitch and Twitter have been my usual platforms, but I'm really enjoying making content. I have a lot of cool things coming for you guys in 18. I have a lot of videos I'm going to continue to make on here, um, and I'm really enjoying doing so. So thank you guys so much. If this video could hit 150 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. I really, really appreciate the support, guys, and um, thank you guys so much, and let's get into the video. So basically, guys, what is Player of the Month? Player of the Month is, essentially, the Barclays Premier League puts out a Player of the Month every year. There's a, there's a fan vote, and there's a... A vote for um, people on a board the fan vote is worth 10% which is absolutely nothing so basically the people on the board decide who player of the month is usually it's a player with amazing stats for the month and on a very winning team you rarely see a player with amazing amazing stats win their player of the month that wasn't on a winning team so in my opinion this month it's probably gonna go to a player on Man United and I'm gonna get into the video show you guys potential investments and talk about how all this is gonna unfold now something you got to keep in mind is that this player of the month will be released before FIFA actually is released um, and last year this happened and we didn't know that there was going to be player of the month So when player of the month came out every requirement went up like crazy All the things on the market that were needed for these requirements went up like crazy like a normal POTM However, this year people may start to prepare early, right? If they think it's going to be something many United players could be extremely extremely inflated at the start of FIFA So keep your eye on that. Don't buy a player when it's certainly inflated There's always a player of the month investment that's not covered and that is not inflated. What do I mean by inflated? Well, I mean like if you get on the game and there's many United players that aren't cheaper than 20k you're not going to want to buy those in my opinion. I think they're way too overpriced. So I'm going to get into potential requirements. We have four candidates in my opinion that are looking the best for player of the month. Now there's some outside shots like Murata, guys like that who have been playing well. Now the month of August is now over. So we're going to get into them. They're Mikatarian, Pogba, Lukaku, and Mane. Those are the four that I think have the best chance to win player of the month. They will definitely be candidates. I think Mikatarian has the best chance. Mikatarian and Lukaku are at the top for the best chances, I do believe. The first potential player we have is uh, Henrik Mikatarian. Amazing month. He actually finished this month with five assists, no goals, but I believe in three games he had five assists, which is, I think it tied a record in the Prem, some record, I don't know what it was, but he, in my opinion, now this is all opinion and these concept cards are just ratings. They're not, don't think that these ratings are true in these concept cards. It's just a, an image, a visual for you guys to look at. Um, I think he has the best chance this month. Five assists in a month and three games is, is mad in my book. So. Here's a little spreadsheet of potential players, um, requirements, things like that that could be used for this SPC. Now, there's not going to be six um, requirements. In the SPCs, guys, for Player of the Month, you usually have one, two, three different team requirements, set requirements. So here are some things you guys could see. You guys could see a Man United um, squad of 11 and an 81-82 rating. Now, what you need to keep in mind, guys, is I tell you guys all this all the time. There's not a lot of special cards in the beginning of FIFA. So the Player of the Month cards early on are worth a ton. You guys need to keep that in mind. I'm not being over over exaggerating this. Nathan's not over exaggerating this. The player of the month cards in the beginning of FIFA are going to be worth a ton. I suggest don't do them. But what I do suggest is take note of this video because there's huge investing opportunities here. Um, if you get on FIFA and some of these things are not overinflated, go for them. Um, another potential for this SBC could be a full prime team. Now this is most likely going to happen for whoever wins it because last year. The first week we saw Raheem Sterling got a full Prem requirement, um, a full team of Prem players. I think it was 81 rated, 80 rated, but still, Prem players as a whole went up. So if you can invest in Prem players early on, guys, any discard Prem players from 78 to 82 rated, if you can pick those up first week, that's a good look. Um, for here, for example, we have an 83 squad rating. Um, and then a potential, they could do an Armenian thing where they could do a 77 team rating and do like one, two, or three Armenian players. Now there's only like seven or six or eight Armenian players in FIFA. So this is probably an outside chance. But um, it's a good way to make money because, listen, a, a lot of people are going to be dumb and price fix the hell out of Armenian players. So if you can get your hands on one early on and you can sell on the hype a day or two before the Player of the Month release. Um, now, as I say that, um, we're going to know the Player of the Month, right? We're going to definitely know the Player of the Month before this comes out. 
before FIFA comes out. So that's a thing where whoever out of these four it's gonna be, you're gonna know going into FIFA, right? You're gonna know going into FIFA. So these are basically just potential requirements. I'm making this video early on, so it's covered. Um, so I don't have to cover this earlier to the timeline. You could see the Armenian team. You could see the opponent's team where they, Man United play Leicester, Swansea, West Ham, a team rating at 82. Prem players are your best investment. We're gonna know by the time this comes out. Um, Prem players are definitely your best investment in general. 80, 81 rated Prem players, they're gonna go up regardless. Um, you could see the SBC 5, 11 nations, six players from the same league um, and 11 nations, team rating 80. And you could see clubs where it's 11 Premier League players all from different clubs, 82 or 83 rated. You guys got to keep in mind, a guy like Mkhitaryan, not going to be cheap. These are potential team requirements. Um, guys, this is an interactive video. I want to hear your thoughts on who's going to win player of the month. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win player of the month. My front runner is Mkhitaryan. And now I'm going to get into another potential one, which is Lukaku. Right, guys, here we have potentially Lukaku or Pogba. As I said earlier in the video, before FIFA comes out, we will actually know who player of the month is. So this is more just a speculation video to get your guys' mindsets going for FIFA 18, to get you guys knowing what potential requirements, investments will be. I will make another video whenever player of the month comes out, which should be mid-September, um, what to invest right away, what I think are good looks for whoever the player is. It's probably gonna be a Man United player, so I can definitely say right now, Man United players are the look. Besides these requirements, I think Man United Prem players are the good look. Um, now looking at this, this is a spreadsheet for Pogba player of the month, but why I have Lukaku there too is because I think that Lukaku and Pogba will have very, very similar requirements, will both be very expensive um, early on in FIFA, extremely elite players. Um, you have your Man United squad, probably going to be 83 or 84 team team rating. They're going to jack that rating up, man. I'm telling you right now. Um, you have a potential SPC with the Premier League players. Again, that's one I think is going to be very common. 11 Premier League players, probably 83 rated. Now with the nation one, there's going to be one probably for French or for Belgium. If it's Belgium, it'll probably be 82, 83 team rating. French will probably be 83 team rating. There's some higher rated uh, French players um, overall in the 84, 85 range that could make that team rating 80, 83 or 84. You have your opponents, which we had for Mkhitaryan, which is Leicester, Swansea, West Ham, 83 team rating. Um, and then you have clubs, which is Obviously, I think that one's probably going to be one that could be prevalent because they like doing a lot of different clubs. It raises the prices of different players. Um, what you guys need to keep in mind here is that there could be a brick slot potential, right? They could use brick slot for something like back in Mkhitaryan SPC. If there is, if it is Mkhitaryan, they could use a brick slot for an Armenian player. Um, here, they could use a brick slot for a player that is high rated in the Prem. You don't know. So that's going to be something to look out for. Make sure you cover all angles with this. Lukaku and Pogba are both very elite. As I said earlier, I think they can both be very, very high rated together. Um, I don't think that their requirements and price will be too different. I don't think EA will set their prices to be too different. Um, Pogba with two goals and an assist this month, three wins. Lukaku with three goals and three wins. Um, Mkhitaryan with five assists and three wins. So Murata has a chance. Chelsea has a loss, but he has two goals and two assists. He does have a chance. Um, and Mane has three goals and two wins and a draw. We're going to get into Mane in a second, guys. But what I want to reiterate with you guys is that we will know this player of the month before FIFA 18 comes out. So don't think I'm trying to... This video is informative to getting you guys prepared for my four front runners. I want to start talking about FIFA 18 POTM because it's one of the most investable and profitable things you guys can do on FIFA. If you got into player of the month investing this year, you made a lot of coins um, just by preparing through multiple requirements i would say the best thing to do guys is when we know this player of the month when you get on that web app when you get the early access make concept squads guys with the similar to these requirements for who it's going to be um we're already going to know but make concept squads and start speculating start picking up players and putting them in your concept squads what i did last year with every player of the month was i made four or five potential sbc requirements right so if we had i would make four or five of these kind of these kind of things and i would put them in my club try to fill out the whole team and that way i covered all angles and usually i was profiting at only at least one or two of the teams by a lot like if you can nail one or two of the requirements in potm guys you make a ton so these are potential team requirements these two will be a little bit more expensive than mkhitaryan and mane i think these two are extremely elite um have good nations good links whereas mkhitaryan's nation will hinder him a little bit from being that expensive and i think the requirements will be less challenging than these two so let's get into mane really quick my last candidate for player of the month all right guys so the last candidate for me is sadio mane had um three goals i believe this month um two wins in a and a draw for liverpool had a good month he's probably the only player i think that has a chance maybe Murata outside of um man united players so we're gonna get into potential requirements again nathan thank you so much for the spreadsheets they're looking beautiful they're very helpful for the video um basically exactly what i would have said for potential requirements here you have liverpool players 81 team rating 100 chemistry 
best investment here is probably 80 to 82 Liverpool players. That budget is going to be very low to medium. It's not going to be too expensive. You can do that for relatively cheap. Um, another one is, again, Premier League players. This is one where I think you can't go wrong, guys. Regardless of who this player of the month ends up being, guys, you can't go wrong with a Premier League investment. Invest in Premier League players. Buy those 81s. Buy those 82s. Those guys will skyrocket because regardless, I do think that Premier League players will be required for this SBC. Um, 82 team rating here projected, 100 chemistry, 11 rare players. So get those rare players, guys. Again, here's a nation one. We have Senegal. Um, 11 Senegal players. There's an uprise in good Senegal players in FIFA now. There's high rated. There's Koulibaly. There's guys like Mane. There's there's Balde Dial. There's guys who are very high rated now in FIFA. Um, so make sure you get those. That could that could go to be medium to high. I know that spreadsheets is low to medium, but that could actually go medium to high because those are the kind of players that are super rare that could go extinct. Um, so that's one you could prepare for if it is Mane. And then again, opponents. Opponents is a huge one, guys. Some player of the months last year required this one where there was a team slot for opponents. You had to have players which they played against in that month. Um, that's going to be a low rated kind of budget wise. That's going to be pretty on the low end. That's not something you have to worry about too much. Um, but make sure you cover the opponents. Now, if there's an overlap in opponents between the Man United and Liverpool players, I haven't looked, but that could be a potentially good investment. Again, guys, you will know the player of the month most likely going into FIFA 18. Um, so the best thing you guys can do is get on that web app early. Hope you pack a player from this nation. If you pack a bronze or a silver player from this nation, just keep him just in case from Senegal, France, Belgium, um, and I forget where Mkhitaryan's from. I think Armenia, but I'm not positive. Uh, keep them. Guys, do your investing early on with the web app. We'll know what the player of the month is. I'm going to be low-key about it. I hope that it's not blown up because then you can really make some 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 bang for your investing in your coins. Um, so those are the main four candidates. I think that will be four player of the month um, for August that will be released um, on the, when the game comes out for FIFA 18 in September. They will not be released. The player of the month will not be released in, um, in FIFA 17 because EA is really done with that game. And they did this last year where they put Sterling out in the beginning of FIFA 18 who won POTM for August. So guys, again, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching the video, supporting the channel. If you guys have any player of the month investing comments, questions, anything, please leave them down below. You guys know I pride myself at answering questions. Thanks for 2,000 subs, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. I love answering questions. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you guys. Um, make sure you drop a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe. Those are the four candidates I do believe will be for player of the month. I think that those guys have the best chance. Um, and those ratings and that spreadsheet, guys, make sure you look at those. We're going to know the player of the month going to FIFA 18, but whoever it is out of those four, which it will be one of those four, um, make sure you come back to this video. Make sure you check out those potential requirements. Make sure you try to cover all angles. What's the best investment in my opinion? Well, that's probably 80, 81, 82 Prem players. Make sure you're picking up the nation of whoever it is. Make sure you're picking up some of those players because nation is always something that could be required. Um, and besides that, guys, you guys should be covered with all angles. That's basically it for Player of the Month investing. If you guys don't know what Player of the Month investing is, again, I'll reiterate myself. It's something that is released every month. There's a Barclays Premier League Player of the Month. At least this is what happened last week. We're basing this off FIFA 17 knowledge. Um, and there's certain team ratings requirements. It is an SPC. It's untradeable. Usually they're a good player. Um, their, their card is very nice. In the beginning of FIFA, it's worth a lot to do. Um, you have a certain amount of days, like 14 or 15 or 16 to complete it. Um, and usually whenever the requirements are, everything shoots up like crazy that is required. So if you guys did enjoy this video, man, make sure you drop the like. Let me know if you guys have any questions again. And as for now, I'm out, boys. Peace. Thanks for watching.